What's up, y'all? This is Coach Muma here, just checking in with you to give you the explanation of the leg circuit video. So this is what you should have clicked on before you did the video, so you get all the little tips and tricks about how to do each exercise, uh, not only safely, but the right way, so you get the workout out of the right part of your body. So for example, the first one is a mountain climber, which we've all done mountain climbers our entire life in PE. But I wanna make sure that you make sure your front foot does not hit. So when you do this mountain climber, it's gonna look like that. Not having your feet in the front touch down, but instead a much more athletic pose like that. The second one we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. Let me get away so you can see better. In a reverse lunge, you're gonna step back and then plant up and try to hold your balance. Set it back down, step back, up and hold your balance, set it down. Reverse lunge, step up. Now some of these for you more advanced, older kids, if you've got a, a couple of pounds, maybe a milk jug, which weighs about eight pounds, which is an old filled with water, uh, or a kettlebell or something like that, your reverse lunges could have a little bit of weight on them. Step up, hold that, set it back down. So again, there's times throughout that you might wanna throw a weight in uh, just for a little bit of added resistance if you're a little bit more advanced. All right, exercise number three is a glute bridge. I wanna to try to speed this up. So in a glute bridge, you're gonna put your shoulders on the ground, okay? And then on the count of three, you're gonna thrust your hips up, squeeze your butt, and hold it, okay? So it's gonna be a glute bridge where you go up, hold, and then you go back down. Next one is your jump lunges. That's where you're gonna jump and switch. I gotta watch the fan here, but that's gonna look like this. Your opposite arm and opposite leg are gonna drop down, and we're just gonna switch. Okay, so that is what our jump lunges are gonna look like. The next one is a little bit of a variation of a mountain climber, and it's gonna be one-legged where you alternate legs, and it's out, in, out, in. So my hands still go down on the ground, but I start with one of my legs out to the side, outside of my elbow, and I switch these back and forth. All right, so that is an alternating mountain climber. A side lunge is exactly how you would think it would be. You start with your center frame, and you're gonna lunge out to the side, and then go back to the center, out to the other side, back to the center. Okay, couple of things. Shoulders are back, you can read the logo, okay? I don't get my knee way out here to the side when I lunge, I keep it in line. Ankle, knee, hip and shoulder should be in a straight line as I lunge back forward. So I'm going to absorb the muscle, push off, that's one. Other way, one. Push off, keep that knee in line, it'll make it much more safer for you. The next one is a plank variation. If you can't do this, just do a normal plank. But this is called a walking plank and it really works your hamstrings at the same time you're getting the abs. So a walking plank, you're in a plank position, but then you are just lifting up. So as you hold the amount of seconds that are given to you, you are kind of walking. Keep those hips down. You do not want to turn into a mountain, uh, but that is a walking plank and that's exercise number, number seven. Six. And the last one is speed skate. When you do speed skaters, you're gonna land on one foot and that other foot is gonna lean behind and you need to balance with that planted leg. So you're gonna take off, land, and let the other leg go behind. Land. Notice I could easily go back and forth a little faster, but I don't want to because getting the balance from that stationary leg is where the real action is. So you're gonna land and balance. Land and balance. Land and balance. Swing that other leg back behind, throw you off balance a little bit, and it'll make you struggle, and that struggle is where the gains are. All right, so that's the explanation of the videos, and the very next thing you're gonna do is click on the next one down, go through the workout along with me, and we'll do one cycle of it, and we'll get after it. All right, let's go.